Hi, Mike Blissett here, and today I've got a brilliant exercise to share with you before the holiday season really begins. Step one is today, and I'll be sending the second part to you in about a week's time, so between Christmas and New Year. Um, please, all you have to do to make this a real great success of an exercise is, of course, to have a pen and a paper and to commit an hour or so after this to, uh, to, to writing down uh, the answers to the questions I'm going to give you. So, question one, what was great for you about 2013, business-wise, personal life, I mean, what went really, really well? What are you proudest of from 2013? How did you celebrate? Why did you celebrate? How did you evolve and grow and really become the kind of person that you are today through, th to, through 2013? What made you laugh? What experiences did you have that made you feel great? What made you happy? What inspired you the most? in 2013, what didn't you get done? What shouldn't have been on the list? What, what goals were, were kind of borrowed almost from someone else? Maybe someone that inspired you or motivated you, but they just weren't your goals and you didn't own them. So what didn't get done in 2013? See, this exercise is designed to get 2013 out on the table for you so that you can notice what went well, what you could have done differently, and, and also what didn't quite go according to plan. And then to be aware what learnings and discoveries or, or just lessons you can take forward so that next year can be more brilliant for you. So it's a great way to draw a line under the past, under the last 12 months before you move ahead to 2014. So that's it for this time. I'm going to leave you with the questions. In fact, you'll see I've written them immediately below this video on the, on the web page. I'd encourage you to work through the exercise and maybe spend an hour or so between now and just before Christmas so that when Christmas arrives, you can just relax and have a great time knowing you've done the work. So next week, uh, between Christmas and New Year is when I get into the magic stuff and really look at starting to plan for 2014. And it really is, as I say, it really is the magic dust of coaching. So I look forward to sharing that uh, with you next time. For now, I'd just like to wish you a happy Christmas time. Whatever you have planned over the next week, uh, please may it be joyful, filled with love and happiness. And I'll speak to you again soon. Take good care now. Bye.